In this video, I'm gonna share with you a straight comparison with the new Canva AI text to image and version five of Mid Journey. And the idea here is to create a design from scratch. And what I wanted to do is see, can I actually do it all in Canva or will I still need to go out to an external AI generator like Mid Journey and create those elements because maybe Canva just isn't there yet. Now for this example, I wanted a design to go off of and actually take a design that's doing really well and draw some inspiration from it and see if I can recreate it using AI. So this is the shirt that I selected. It's a Western cowgirl type shirt. It says howdy. It's got a couple of sheriff badges there, those little stars, and it's got a couple of cowboy boots. Now, let me just call a little quick time out here. I am not at all saying that you should run out and copy someone's shirt because that's not really ethical and it's not something that I would do. But I did want to show you something that's already existing and see if we can actually replicate it using AI and Canva. Now, taking a closer look at this, we are really creating the cowboy boots and the stars, the text we can do in Canva. We already know that. But can we do this whole thing in just Canva AI? So just to give you a sneak peek, this is what I was able to create right here. And you can see it living inside of Canva. But did I create the whole thing in Canva? Hmm, we're going to find out. So I basically started here with a blank slate inside of Canva. Now, the one thing that we are going to have to do if it's not already done is we need to go into the apps portion of Canva Pro. And then from there, we need to make sure that text to image is installed. And then once it is, we are going to see this right here. And now let me just go over some of the features here that they have built in to Canva AI. Now, the one thing I will say is I did realize there's a hundred image limit per day right now inside of Canva text to image, all right? And so that is a little bit of a problem because I used up 100 yesterday just trying to get those boots. And I'll share with you the prompts that I used and also I'll show you what it looks like in Mid Journey version five. Now I will say Canva's text to image AI interface is really, really user friendly. Uh, right here is where you'll put the prompts. And then from here, we can choose styles. So if we go into here, we can say we want it to be a photo, vibrant, minimalist and all of these other options that we have. So it'll basically allow us to kind of move the creation process in that direction. So this is the prompt that I'm going to be using. Cowgirl boots, cartoon-like with paisley style on white background. And the reason why I'm putting it on a white background is because I want it to be easier to cut out in Canva once the image is generated. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I don't put in any style. So this is what came back. I have this one, this one, this one, and this one, and none of these are really looking what I had in mind. So let's go ahead and try using a different style maybe. So looking through these, I'm gonna try it as a color pencil and see what that brings back. So we'll go ahead and click that and then hit create again. And then again, this is what came back. So if I click on that, it'll bring it in. And uh, well, I don't necessarily think that's, going to work for me either. It's not terrible, but it's not really what I was going for. Here's the other one that's probably closer. That would be this one. Again, probably not going to work for what I'm trying to do here. Now I could go in here and change some of these prompts, uh, or I can just keep playing around with different styles. So I'm going to try watercolor and we'll see what happens here. So we'll create it again. Now, as you can see here, this is way off. So what I have found by experimenting and playing with this, even before I started shooting this video, is Canva's text to image is really not there yet, in my opinion. So this is going to force me to use another AI generator. And my choice right now is using Mid Journey. So now what I wanna do is take that same prompt and bring it over to Mid Journey, and I'm going to see what Mid Journey gives me and if it's going to be what I'm looking for. All right, so now in Mid Journey, I'm gonna use the same exact prompt and I'm gonna see what it gives me. All right, so here's what Mid Journey gave me on its very first attempt. It gave me four different 
ones that I'm really happy with. Now this one here I don't want because I didn't want two of them together. I wanted them singly like this so I could somewhat create the design that we were looking at, but I'm really liking this one right here. So now the cool thing with this is I'm really happy with this, right? But I can go ahead and click this button right here and make more variations off of that particular boot. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to show you what it will produce, but I am going to probably use this one right here. And this is what it created, building off of that one boot that we liked, and then from there, creating four more different styles, but very similar. And I'm gonna basically hone in here on this one, because I really like this one. I like them all, but I'm gonna use this one as the one that we're gonna use in the shirt. So all I would do here is just click this button where it's going to upscale it and it's going to make it a higher resolution. And here we are, our final upscaled image that I can now download as a high resolution and then bring it into Canva. But the other thing I could do if I wanted to is I can make more variations right here. I'm not going to, but that's what I really like with Mid Journey is you're able to keep reworking that design. In Canva, you really can't yet. So here's the two side by side. Here is Canva right now as it stands. And then this one here is Mid Journey version five. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this t-shirt design together. So here we have the boot. Now it is on a white background. So let me just change the color here. So you can see that uh, we are working with an image now that has a white background. And so what I would do from here is I would want to cut out the background. So we would just go to edit photo, and then we would go to background remover, and then it's going to cut out that image. And that's why I'm putting it on a white background because it's so much easier to cut the image out. All right, so the first thing I need to do is create another boot. So if we look at the design, the final product, I need to create another one of these boots. So all I'm going to do is just click on it. I'm going to either do Command C, Command V on Mac, or I will just go ahead and hold Option and then drag and it'll create another copy. Then what I'm going to do is start positioning these, but I also need to flip it. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to go here to where it says flip horizontally. And now I have that boot like that. And I can go ahead and use this little handle here and, and move it around. I can put that one up if I want to. And if we refer back to the one that I already created, you can see here that the boot is almost straight. And then this one here is a little bit at an angle. And again, we can play around with that. But what I'm going to do also is I'm going to scale these down. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to hold that. It'll bring them together. And I'm just going to resize these down a little bit and I'm going to bring them into the center. So there we are. We've got that right there, right? It's pretty close. This one here, we might need to straighten a little bit or actually tilt it a little. And then this one here, I'm going to probably bring like that and then bring it down into position. So that's pretty close to what we've already got here. Now, the one thing you might notice here is I actually changed the color of the boots. I made them more on the pink side. So how do you do this in Canva? Well, I'm gonna show you. So all I did was selected one of the boots, I went into edit photo, I went into effects, and then I went into see all. And I'm going to go to color pop, and I'm going to go to this one right here, and I hope I can pronounce this right, hibiscus, I believe is how you say it, and then it's going to change that to that. So see the difference? I'm going to repeat that same process and I'm just going to go to that filter. I'm gonna go into color pop and I'm going to go into this one right here. And now you can see we've changed the color using that filter. So now you can see how it's starting to take shape. Now what I need to do is I need to come up with these little sheriff badges, okay? That's what they basically are, these little sheriff badges. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to find them in Canva. So what I'm going to do is go into elements and then I am going to search for the sheriff badges. Now, these are also a little bit different than just regular badges. They're more of a Western badge. So that's what I'm gonna go off of. Now, I'm not gonna use AI for this at first. I'm gonna see if I can get something in elements. So I'm gonna go into elements and then here I'm gonna put in Western sheriff badges. And this is what came back. I'm gonna look at graphics because that's what I'm looking for. And this is one that I found that I like right here. All right, so now the thing I like about this one here as well is I can adjust the colors, but not just one, but two. So if you notice, 
right here, I made it pink, but I have some white to it, which actually will add to the text once I do that as well. So in order to do that, I would just go ahead and I would make the main part of that pink and then I would make the outline color white. And then there we are. So now what I would do is I would start to play around with where I wanna locate these, but I'm gonna wait because it's really gonna build off of this here, and that is the howdy. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to locate a font that I like. Now you can scroll through all of the fonts that are here if you want to, and you might just wanna start with one and then you can start adjusting it. I'm gonna use this one here, Rodeo, just to kind of get things started. And I am going to put the word that I want in there, which is howdy. And obviously I need to make this a little bit bigger and I'm not really happy with that font. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to search for a font and this one here is going to be for Western. So now that I have this in this search box and a lot of people don't realize you can do this by the way, this is going to show me just fonts that are Western style. All right, so I'm gonna scroll through here and I am going to try one. I'm gonna try this one right here, Flying Circus. Well, there you go. It looks like the one I actually used and ended up using. So yes, there it is. Uh, it's Flying Circus. And I'm gonna make that bigger so I can go ahead and I can just grab the handles here, make it bigger. And I'm just gonna grab the handles to kind of tidy it up here a little bit. So now what I need to do next is change the color. I'm gonna change it to pink. And I'm also going to want that outline, that stroke. So I'm gonna go into effects and I'm going to use outline. And I'm going to change the color of that outline to white. And then we have it. And then I wanna add a little curve to it, all right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this or turn it. And so that way there it comes around the boot, something like that. And now if you, if you notice here, I've got the star that's alongside the H and the Y. So let's go ahead and let's add those in there now. So this way here we can see how everything's going to take shape. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller, bring that in. And then I'm gonna make a copy of this, holding the shift key and then dragging into position. So that's kind of how we're looking right here. They're both the same size. So we've got that right there. Looks pretty good. But now what I wanna do is I wanna center everything. So I'm just going to isolate everything bring it towards the center. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and start moving these boots around a little. And if you notice here, I have this boot up higher and I have this one down lower. So let's go ahead and readjust that. So this is gonna come down. This is gonna slide over a little bit. And now we're getting closer. And I'm just gonna bring that one up a little bit just to fill that gap in there. And actually I'm gonna take these three elements, so I have to select them all. Now I can group these all together now, so I just click group, and now it's all one, so I don't have to worry about repositioning it, and then I can start to play with that there, right? I can go just like that, and I can adjust the boots now on their own if I want to, so you get the idea. That's how I created all of that design, and it ultimately came out to that right there. I put it on that one right there, and I put it on that shirt right there. So you can see, it'll go on different colored shirts, looks really good, and this was all created using Canva and using Midjourney version five. So that's how I was able to use Canva and use Midjourney, and I will say Canva AI text to image is probably not yet there. Will it get there? Maybe one day, but I think Midjourney is dedicated to just AI, and there's other ones out there now, like Adobe Firefly. All of these are gonna be really, really hard to compete with, and that's why I think Canva, ultimately, they'll probably try to have some AI components to their program, but really, you're going to get better results, at least right now, going outside of Canva, bringing that element in, and then creating an amazing design. Now, if you wanna see another tutorial of me creating another design and putting it on multiple products, not just T-shirts, check out this video right here, where I take you through the entire process from no design to a design, to a bunch of products that I put it on. Watch that video next and I'll see you there.